Hey y'all, it's Beauty's Advocate here. So many of you have asked me about the Black Baby List Pro Prima Titanium Flat Irons in the comments of this video right here. And I finally found it and was able to do a review for you all. Many of you thought this was the exact same flat iron as the Baby List Pro Prima 3000, which is my holy grail iron, but baby. It is not the same at all. In this review, I'll go over all of the usual things, price, what it's made of, weight, etc. But I'll also give you all a comparison to the Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium Prima 3000 so that you can know the differences and why this iron is named so similarly but priced so differently. I've put a timestamp in the description box below, so let's get to it. Before I compare this to the Babyliss Nano Titanium Prima 3000 flat iron, which is the blue one I've used in a lot of my other videos, I want to give you the specs on this one. The first thing I noticed is the housing of the flat iron. It is made of some type of heat resistant plastic, which does make it lightweight, but that is also where my complaint comes in. First of all, it feels a lot cheaper than many of Babyliss's other flat irons and it makes the weight distribution a little off. If you own the Babyliss Nano Titanium Ultra Thin Flat Iron or any of the other blue ones that Babyliss makes, the plastic on those definitely feels a lot more sturdy and of better quality than this. Since the plates are still made of titanium and it is housed in stainless steel, it basically makes the plate part heavier than the iron. It really wasn't that bad to get used to, but I just felt like I had to squeeze a lot harder to keep the plates closed while flat ironing. And since I've had, you know, surgery on my hand, that's definitely an issue for me personally. It has five heat settings, which goes up to 450 degrees. It also features a nine foot swivel cord and a locking mechanism to keep the plates closed, which I think is awesome for storage purposes. You can find it at Sally Beauty in the US for $92. As a spoiler alert, I will tell you right now, I do not think this particular flat iron is worth $92. And I have a better recommendation at a lower price point from Babyliss which I'll upload another video for. Now, let's talk about my experience using this. Right away, on the first pass, I noticed that my hair did not look as shiny or silky coming out of the flat iron, which was such a bummer. In this clip, I used a different iron on the other side of my head that is completed, so just as an FYI, only focus on the section that I'm doing right now. As I continued and ran my fingers through it, it just felt so dry and frizzy. My cuticles just did not look smooth and I'm not used to that. So I increased the temperature from 410 degrees to 450 to see if that would help. And it did not. <laughs> Unfortunately, the iron just was not cutting it for me. It made my hair smell a little fried and I wasn't willing to risk the damage just for the sake of completing the entire side of my head for the video. So I decided to finish up with my Holy Grail iron, the Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium 3000. Speaking of that, let's move on to the comparison. First things first, it was really hard to find all of the information on the Black Babyliss Prima flat iron. The official Babyliss website does not even have this one listed on the product page, which I found very interesting. This leads me to believe that it may be something special that may have been made for Sally's or Cosmo Pro so that they could sell it at a lower price point, but I really can't say for sure. According to Sally's website, the full name of this flat iron is the Babyliss Pro Prima Titanium flat iron. And this is important to note because they fully dropped the nano from the name of the flat iron and the numbers that correspond the plate size 3000 for the one and one fourth inch version and 3100 for the one inch version. Why am I bringing this up? Because looking at the description, it does not contain the nano technology and you can tell when you use it for sure. Now, according to Babyliss, the nano titanium technology is supposed to ensure that heat is distributed evenly throughout the flat iron and to help reduce frizz for sleek and shiny results. 
So without that, you're really just left with a cheaper version of the Prima 3000 flat iron, which is the main reason to purchase it in the first place. Look at this clip here. The difference in shine and frizz between the bottom section where I use the black Prima flat iron and the top section where I use the blue Prima 3000 flat iron, it is very different and it feels very different to the touch as well. I'm used to buttery, silky, smooth, not frizz and a mess. <laughs> One thing I do like about this one, however, is that it does stop at 450 degrees instead of 465, but that is honestly probably the only thing it has over the Prima 3000. The other thing I noticed is that it did not curl my hair the way that I'm used to. Disclaimer alert, I don't know if this was user error or not, but the curl fell flat immediately, and I wasn't going to risk my hair any further with this one. All in all, I don't recommend this fire. Normally, when I'm trying things out, I really try to research and find things that I think may be worth it for you to spend the money on so that I can give you good things to actually add to your hair kits um, that can give you salon results at home. But this one fell far below my expectations for a $92 flat iron. The best advice that I could give you is to either save up for the babyless flat iron that has nano titanium technology or just to purchase a completely different iron if the 3000 is out of your budget and that brings me to my next video in the next video I'll tell you guys all about the babyless pro porcelain ceramic flat iron which I think may impress a few of you Thank you all so much for watching and supporting my channel. The more you guys return to my channel and watch my videos, the more I am able to interact with you guys and review more things. Thank you for everyone who recommended this one. Um, although that didn't work out, I have some more fire for you guys coming. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can always see when I post. Bye.